Okay, good evening. My name is Chris Redmond and I am the treasurer for HSN uh, Board of Directors. It's my pleasure to give you a brief overview of the audited financial statements and uh, that are contained in your information kit. The financial statements have been accepted by the Board of Directors and are presented for adoption tonight. My comments this evening will be summary in nature and if you would like more detailed information, we will be pleased to answer questions during the question and answer period of the agenda. My, uh, my overview this evening actually includes a summary of the statement of management responsibility and the independent auditor's report along with financial statements including the statement of operations and the statement of financial position. The statement of management responsibility actually reaffirms management's responsibilities. It actually defines the role of the board and the audit committee. It defines the role of external auditors and it is signed by the CEO and CFO. KPMG performed the audit this year. Um, they issued an unqualified or a clean opinion. Um, it's important to note that within their report, it states that in our opinion, the financial statements presented in all material respects, the financial position uh, of Health Sciences North is as of, as of March 31, 2015. So what we'll begin with is HSN's annual performance trends going back to 2007 -08. In 2011-12, there was a retroactive reinstatement due to a change in accounting standards, and this materially affected the deficit. Last year, last year uh, HSN reported a $19.7 million surplus. This was, this was actually the first year of a three-year commitment from the ministry to support the reduction of our working fund deficit. It is very important to note that the funding, which was $19.3 million, it could not actually be applied to operations. The actual surplus without the funding was $400,000. This slide actually shows the monthly trending of the actual surplus uh, or deficit, uh, which is the blue line against uh, the budget or target, which is the red line. The green line on this slide represents a balanced position. You can see that uh, on the far right, actually, uh, that at March 31, 2015, the target for the year was a $1.5 million surplus before building amortization. The margin, the margin is defined as the target before building amortization as, and, and, and was actually $1.5 million in, for 2014 15. Therefore, the overall net budget or target was a balanced position. The blue line, the blue line represents or shows the actual spending trend in that March 31 HSN ended with a $1.5 million surplus margin, which was on target with the budget that was approved by the board. The, the $1.5 million actual margin adjusted for building amortization leaves a balance of $117,000. This year, the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care provided a second installment of the Working Funds remedy in the amount of $19.3 million. In addition, uh, this year, the Ministry released the use of the $13.4 million post-construction operating plan or PCOP funding. Both of these items are once again part of an obligation that HSN has with the Ministry to reduce the overall working funds deficit. Neither of these one-time funding events could be used for operations as they had to be used against the working funds debt. This, uh, this slide shows how the one-time funding affects the results reported in the financial statements. As you can see, uh, both last year and this year, surpluses are the result of the one-time one -time funding that can only be used against paying down the working funds deficit. Now, now with this slide, we see what HSN's true surplus is without the one-time funding items to pay down the working deficits. Uh, the last three years, HSN has, has actually reported slight surpluses. And as of March, 31, 2015, I am pleased to report that HSN reported a $117,000 surplus. Total, total revenue for 2014-15 was $441 million and compared to the prior year there has been an overall reduction, overall reduction of $425,000 or 0.09%. The largest section of, in blue represents Ministry in Northeast Lynn funding, which totals $342 million and, uh, and is $1.3 million less than, less than the prior year, mainly due to a reduction in the health-based uh, health allocation model HPAM. Specifically funded programs 
including patient services, other revenues, and amortization are also shown and represent the balance of sources of revenue. The variances are explained or as, are as shown on, on, in this slide actually for your information. Total, total expenditures for 2014-15 was, uh, was $439 million and compared to the prior year there has been a slight decrease of $380,000 or 0.08%. The largest section in blue represents salaries and benefits and overall has increased by $2.3 million or 0.9%. Medical staff remunerations, supplies, drugs, specifically funded programs, and amortization represent the balance of expenditures for HSN and these variances, these variances are shown in this slide for your information. Within the statement of operations, there is an asset section, and as of March 31, 2015, it is shown to be 400, just over $400 million. This is $14.6 million less than our, our prior year. The main reason or the main change from the prior year is due to lower receivables and a decrease in the net book value of capital assets. This slide is obviously uh, liabilities and equity. Um, in, the liabilities, in the liabilities section, both bank indebtedness and equity have improved considerably over our prior year. This is the impact of the working funds remedy and the PCOP funding as described earlier, earlier in my presentation. So, so this concludes the uh, financial report for fiscal year 2014. We, we have a, a motion to accept the audited financial statements. The motion reads, that the auditor's report and the financial statements for the year ended, year ending March 31, 2015, be adopted as presented. May I have a, a mover and a seconder for this motion? Thanks, Mike and Paul. All in favor? Op opposed? The motion, the motion is carried. There is actually also a motion before you that deals with the annual appointment of the auditors. Accordingly, uh, I would now like to present this motion to the corporation, which reads that the firm of KPMG be appointed as auditor for Health Sciences North for fiscal year 2015-16 and until the next annual meeting. May I have a mover and a seconder for this motion as well, please. Thanks, Mike. Uh, thanks, Steve. All in favor? Any, all opposed? All in favor, all opposed, that passes.